I'm really interested in digital media and its impact on our society and sort of the origins of digital media and how we're changing our modes of thinking and communicating and uh, understanding the world and ourselves. This show is entitled Object Code, which is uh, a result of my sabbatical research from 2009. I had a leave and traveled to a few places and then just focused on my studio work during that time. Uh, and in particular, I became interested in computer language and computer code and wanted to make that the visual thread that ran through the exhibition. So this piece is called Manuscript, and it is a series of 90 etchings on paper, which means that these are etched on metal plate and uh, hand inked, wiped, and run through a press. So I looked at a variety of different types of code, uh, programming language, the human genome, uh, I looked at uh, binary code and processing code, and so I'm kind of thinking about how these things uh, have infiltrated or are kind of sublimi subliminally present in so many different aspects of our lives. There's a Facebook page that's recreated here, 14 feet long, that's somewhat dilapidated and warped. Social media is really interesting to me. Um, from a visual standpoint, uh, social media is fascinating because we are now kind of developing our own websites, our own, our own content about ourselves. So it, each of these sites uh, become an, a, a kind of self-portrait or an autobiography. Uh, and so we're writing our own identity in a way. So this is the Flickr album um, and it's a hand-bound book and it's full of hand-printed, screen-printed pages. Um, there are three categories, portrait, still life, and landscape. It also touches our personal lives because these are our family portrait albums and these are our memories that we're now uploading to a server somewhere out there in the, in the ether. So, uh, and we're sharing those things, but I, I also am questioning the kind of experience that people have with these memories. I think the other thing you can't lose sight of when you think about social media is it's not free. Uh, there, we will be marketed to based on the information that we're willing to post up there. And uh, you know, Flickr may be trying to sell you a catalog. Facebook's gathering information for advertisers. Now we all have iPhones or the equivalent in our pockets. We are all uh, kind of actively, well, a lot of people don't email anymore, but we're texting, uh, we're consuming media and so many different delivery systems. And this computer language is flowing sort of silently under the surface of all of that. This is a piece entitled Documents, uh, and really it's the centerpiece of the show. I think the relevance of art as research is, is, uh, is really important because what art has the capacity to do is carry a message to a broad audience. Uh, you can take very specific kinds of information, but you make them into these images and then they have this public hearing or this public viewing. We are gathering data from the world and we're looking at it and we're sort of investing ourselves in trying to make sense of it. Um, and while we may not follow a protocol like the scientific method, uh, I think we are producing kind of judgments about what's happening in society uh, that are productive and that are part of an evolution and kind of history of, of thought.